The number one is HP Omen. At under $2,000, it's awfully tough to beat the HP Omen when it comes to affordable and buttery smooth gaming. Despite its low cost, it doesn't skimp on features, with 32GB of 2666MHC RAM, and an 8th generation Core i7 processor. There are 61 reviews which average rating is 3.8 stars for this product, a customer said. Let's just get a few important flaws out of the way. First, as a few reviews have mentioned, this laptop has a 1070 Max-Q and not a standard 1070. HP is being deceptive whether purposefully or accidentally by not listing this on the product description. I did a lot of research before purchase and it doesn't say anywhere even on a technical manual that this model has a 1070 Max-Q. Next this laptop is loud even on idle. And there is no setting to really change it. The Omen software it comes with only has two modes for fans and the other. The second product is Asus Raj Zephyrus. Offered with your choice of NVIDIA's famed 1070 or 1080 chipset, the Asus Raj Zephyrus packs plenty of firepower into a remarkably slim body. It features one of Intel's fastest mobile processors, as well as a high-speed solid-state drive. This product is available on Amazon for $1,688. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 3.6 stars from more than 52 customer reviews, a customer said. This is a powerful gaming laptop that is thin and light, and can also keep good low temps while gaming. It scores 14,150 on the 3D Mark Firestrike test. This compares well to the Asus G701VI full-sized gaming laptop 16,593. The only issue I have had, and the reason for the 4-star review is coil noise. If you listen closely, you hear high-pitched beeping like a radio operator transmitting Morse code. When gaming you cannot hear it, but in a quiet room, it stands out. The forward keyboard isn't the issue I thought it would be. I grew used. Another happy customer said. In recent years I've found that gaming laptops work better with my traveling lifestyle and this one beats all previous. It runs all of my games from PUBG to Monster Hunter World perfectly, high settings 1080p 60-70 FPS. Very sleek design. Easy to transport. My only negatives the GPU sometimes doesn't boot up with the system properly, acts like it is only battery mode when gaming. A simple restart fixes this issue. Hard to clean grill over GPU. The only really weird thing I noticed is when using foreign outlets without grounding it seems to like to become statically charged, and will even shock. The number 3. Electronics PA 71 SG. The Electronics PA 71 ESG is a great example of a high frame rate gaming rig at a mid-range price point. Not only does it utilize an efficient, 6-core CPU, it also has a versatile Thunderbolt 3 port, which boasts a theoretical maximum throughput of 40 gigabytes per second. This product is available on Amazon for $1,899. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 253 customer reviews, a customer said. After weeks of searching, I found the perfect gaming laptop. As I write this, on my new electronics and sipping an espresso, I find myself struggling to select the appropriate words for the impressive performance, presentation and understated aesthetics of this gaming machine. When I first began looking for laptops between $1,100 and $2,000, I came up with a list of mandatory specs, i7 processor, 16GB RAM, GTX 1070, SSD boot drive, IPS monitor, doesn't look like something from Star Wars. I also hate bloatware, obnoxious logos, stickers, and cheap plastic. I'm a professional in my mid-30s that wanted something. Another happy customer said. Well, overall this laptop is pretty awesome. I tried both a razor blade issues with the motherboard, very loud, and alienware heavy, loud, meh, and took a stab at a brand I've never heard of. Pros, very fast. Thing passed every test with flying colors for speed, 
feels overall well built. Not terribly heavy for a gaming rig. Fans are actually pretty quiet. Not like Ultrabook quiet but quiet enough that I can deal with them. Even running 3D Mark the machine was not so loud as to be annoying. Screen seems to be pretty nice, IPS, G-Sync. 1070 in a laptop. The number 4. Asus Strix Scar Edition. Thanks to a 17.3-inch panel that operates at 144Hz, with a 3 millisecond gray to gray time, the Asus Strix Scar Edition is a popular choice for those who detest screen tearing. Its primary storage is a quarter terabyte NVMe drive, and it has a 1 terabyte SATA SSD as well. This product is available on Amazon for $1,649. The average rating of this product is 4.5 stars with more than 100 customer reviews, a customer said. This computer is hands down the best laptop I've ever used. The display is very color accurate and pretty, but it's mind-blowing fast. Gaming with refresh rates this high not only gives an advantage, but I've found it to be easier on the eyes for long gaming sessions. The 1070 Max QGPU is extremely stout for a laptop. It does run warm whenever under a lot of load, 75C, but I'm yet to see it throttle. When it does get warm though the fans go into overboost and cool it back down quickly. They are audible very slightly in. The next product is. Acer Predator Helios. With a lightning quick, NVMe SSD, and an overclockable GTX 1070 GPU, the Acer Predator Helios is a seriously powerful device. It can run nearly any title out there, although the manufacturer isn't exactly known for long-term reliability. The price approximately $1,900. There are 59 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.4 stars, a customer said. I got this on sale for $1,499.99 and was a steal. I had to mess around with the settings to get good power running on battery. I am able to do my work and homework for about 4 to 5 hours which is a huge improvement from my Predator 17. This is my insurance replacement after my 2-year-old laptop got stolen out of my car. Which was a Predator 17. I am very happy I got this. Easy upgradable SSD slots and RAM. Wish they make a bigger battery. Overall 5 stars for me after playing on it for 2 days. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.